Your constitutional freedoms under assault every day of the week. Your freedoms being taken away rapidly. I'm Artifacts Mars and this is Tyranny Watch News. Together we will explore the issues and the assaults on your freedoms, our failing schools, the incoming hordes of illegal aliens, and we'll find ways that we can stop this and return America to its greatness. I'm Artifacts of Mars. Hello, this is Artifacts of Mars, and thank you for listening to Tyranny Watch News. Today is August 6, 2014. And we're going to start off with the invasion news, and we're going to do something a little bit different. I'm not just going to cover the USA, there's another problem. Uh, this is from Breitbart, rape, death, and police pursuits continue as illegal immigrants flood Texas County. Death toll continues to climb in the Fall Furious Death March region, also known as the ranch lands and highways of Brooks County. Toll on illegal immigrants who have d died attempting to cross these ranch fields and bypass border patrol checkpoint located in the center of Brooks County now stands at 44. This woman was found dead this week. A woman reported being raped by her fellow tra travelers earlier this week. Another woman was seriously injured as she either bailed out of or was pushed from a vehicle she was riding in that was being pursued by a deputy sheriff. So, the illegals are coming along this pipeline and in it. So a minute I reported on that earlier. And that's taking a toll on them. They're uh, piling right on in there and they're preying on each other basically. Many of them women. And this is coming to your country. There's a photo of the illegals walking along with uh, jugs of water in their hand. Alright. Two Mexican nationals, this is from brownsfieldherald.com, two Mex Mexican nationals are in custody after authorities said they confessed killing an off-duty U.S. Border Patrol agent and wounding the agent's father. Willis County, Willsey County Sheriff Larry Sprintz said Border Patrol agent Javier Vega Jr., 36, of Kingsville, died of a gunshot wound in the chest, and Javier Vega Sr. of La Fiera was hospitalized with a shot to his hip. Spencer authorities arrested Gustavo to Jeremy, uh, 30, of La Villa, and Ishmael Hernandez, 40, of West Laco, both Mex Mexican nationals from Metamoros, in connection with this Sunday's evening shootings. The two men face charges of capital murder, attempted capital murder, four counts of aggravated robbery, and tampering with evidence. So, <coughs> there's an example of <coughs> the illegals coming in and basically 
killed the guy's uh, son and injured him. And this is coming to your country, folks. Now, uh, Representative Mo Brooks, this is from The Hill, Rep Representative Mo Brooks, <coughs> Republican from Alabama, is accusing Democrats of engaging in a war on whites in the current immigration debate. And conservative radio host Laura Ingram's show, Brooks dismissed the idea that more conservative GOP blacks position on immigration is hurting its own party. He dismissed that idea. This is part of the war on whites that's being launched by the Democratic Party. And the way they're launching this war is by claiming that whites hate everybody else. Yeah, that's about right, Congressman. Part of the strategy that Barack Obama implemented in 2008, continuing in 2012, where he divides all of us on race, sex, envy, class warfare, and all those kinds of things. Well, it's not true. Yeah, many of us have been saying the same thing, Congressman. Uh, this is what this is their uh, main tactic. Now, I promised that I would uh, talk about something a little different with the Invasion USA. This is actually Invasion uh, NATO, more specifically France. France and UK are apparently being overrun. Of course, this is no news that the UK is being flooded with the illegals. Their whole country has changed. They're no longer the same country that we uh, sprang from in this country. Ethnic riots in clay as Albanian gangs charge African Im migrants for access to port area. This is only 51 though. Uh, More than 51 East African immigrants desperate to reach El Dorado of the UK were injured in ethnic clashes earlier today in Clay over access to Lorry Parks. Charity workers say that authorities were overwhelmed by a recent increase in numbers of migrants in Clay, which now totals 1,300. The clashes involve Sudanese fighting Eritrean and Ethiopian migrants with sticks, iron bars, and stones. Battles prompted local authorities to send riot police on Monday, but they failed to quell the battles which grew in 300 overnight. So they're bringing their wars uh, to the west. That's just lovely. And France becoming weak link in European up migration controls, police warn of alarming rise in illegal migrants. This has to do with the clay thing again. So France is being overrun by their version of the illegals the same way that the United States is being overrun. And they are even less able to handle this than we are. And France is a NATO ally and essentially they're under attack. But what we have in the White House isn't going to do anything to help and he isn't going to seal off our borders it's only going to get worse. We're being overrun. So, are, so is France. So is Great Britain. We 
<laughs> are screwed if we don't get this situation under control. That's the bottom line. All right. Uh, do a little bit. Of, we're gonna talk about uh, Ebola for a minute. The epidemic is not getting better. It's getting worse. They're having an Ebola summit here in uh, the U.S. It's not really an Ebola summit, but that's what everybody's calling it. A whiting outbreak of deadly Ebola fever is threatening to overshadow next week's summit between African leaders and Obama. That's actually this week's. This is uh, from the 3rd of August. Three-day conference will bring nearly 50 African officials in Washington for an unprecedented gathering. Officials say it could be a turning point in U.S.-Africa relations. Yeah, I wasn't aware that uh, Africa was a country. There's all sorts of countries over there. But now, Obama administration officials are competing with increasingly dire news out of the West Africa, where Ebola is ravaging populations in Guinea, Liberia, Sierra Leone. This article is old. So, a lot of people are calling this the Ebola conference. Uh, I don't know what to say on that. They, it's not getting any better. In the streets of West Africa, from Yahoo, a lot of what people are doing is just taking the uh, bodies of the dead relatives and dumping them in the streets. Relatives of Ebola victims in Liberia defy government orders and dumped infected bodies into the streets of West Africa. As West African governments struggle to enforce tough measures to curb an outbreak of the virus that has killed 887 people. So they're just dumping them basically right in the streets. That's just lovely. That only is going to accelerate this. And according to uh, CBS News, the communism broadcasting system, the outbreak is probably a lot worse than what we're being told because many of the cases are going unreported. That's what the claim is. There's a uh, doctor works for a leading medical organization in Liberia, explained to CBS News, Deborah Pata, that what has helped set this outbreak apart from the previous ones is viruses spread to urban areas. That's just how it's spinning out of control, and because it's very difficult to contain in a sprawling, congested city center. Yeah, right. Think it's going to be any easier here? Dream on. And. Part of the same story, also officials in the hospital in New York City at Sinai Medical Center says he likely does not have Ebola. He had traveled to West Africa with a senior at Mount Sinai Hospital told reports odds are his ailment is not linked to the deadly virus. Really, I feel better now. What about the tests?
Okay, in our news, Russian gang uh, stole over a billion internet passwords. That's par for the course, and it happens constantly. A principal in Texas who sparked national controversy after she told her students to speak English. She got fired and she's speaking out. So she's just doing what teaching guy Lane said and she didn't ban Spanish. I feel sorry for her. It's an outrage that she was even fired. I don't know what you can do about it, but I just gotta feel sorry for her. See what her name is. Amy Lacey is speaking out for the first time since her announcement over there come last November became national news. Well, it should be speaking all English only in our schools. Borders, language, and culture, as Savage calls it. And more new news than this, but I'm running out of time. Here's one good one for our Dilgaff section. In Saudi Arabia, they're all in, they're all ticked off because some anchor woman appeared right on TV without her headscarf and showed her, dared show her face. Well, <laughs> what the hell's wrong with you people? I love looking at women's faces. You people must be insane treating your women like that. And I mean it. That, that is pure insanity force woman to cover her face. It's disgusting. Bill Gaff stands for do I look like gay, give a you know what. So, um, Saudi Arabia may consider itself to be scolded. She's got kind of a pretty face, too. Hi, Marifax Mars, thank you for listening to Tyranny Watch News.